everyone welcome to another video if today is your first time of stopping by thank you so much for coming and to my old subscribers thank you also for coming i appreciate you all so we are just going straight into the topic of today behind every closed door we all have doors in our homes our bedroom doors our different kinds of doors in our homes and as we enter into the home we enter into the room we are most likely to lock our doors but behind those closed doors what is happening inside behind the closed doors what is going on behind those closed doors we have a man a woman a boy a girl a child whomsoever it is and also properties in those houses but that is not my point my point is this those doors that are closed behind there are people in there and my major concern today is the teenagers the young adults our children those who are looking on us those who are still growing those who are still at their formative years they go into their rooms and they lock the door behind and you are happy you are okay with that no sometimes i worry sometimes i think what is going on because i have a teenager well he's 12 so i call him a teenager so once he goes into the room and closes his door i trust him he's okay he's doing well but sometimes i do go and check on him from time to time to know what is happening to know what he is doing so my topic today is knowing what is happening behind every closed door where there is a teenager now globally all over the world in some parts of the world if i may say there is lockdown and children are studying at home so it's not enough for you to wake them up in the morning give them food and then off they are into their bedrooms with their laptops and then the online classes start <music> children are most affected in this lockdown thing they're most likely to you know experience loneliness and lack of physical contact with their friends and some of the things they do so there is this boredom and frustration associated with this loneliness and if it is not taken care of it can affect their mental health and that is where the role of a parent comes in, the role of a carer or the role of someone who is responsible for them. It is your responsibility to engage them, to communicate with them, let them be open to you and you as a person will tell them what they need to know. Now, some of them are not going to school. Remember that school and colleges play an important role in their lives as well. So when they're not going to school, they miss, you know, those contacts they have with people outside their home. They, they lose contact with their friends. Some of them are into sports. They don't do sports anymore. There are different activities they are engaged in when they are in school. But if those things are not coming, their mental health will be affected and they'll be frustrated and you'll be in your own house. Something is happening and you don't know. And then at the end of it all, you will begin to see some bad, you know, reactions. You begin to see them displaying some signs, displaying some attitudes, and you'll be asking yourself, where is this, th where is this thing coming from? It is because they are frustrated. It is because they are just fed up with things happening around you have to be there for your child you have to be there especially teenagers and most importantly you need to groom your children when they are still young if you yes. fail to get it might be difficult for you you know to mold them when they have grown i've had such issues some parents are cumbered with a lot of things yes i know we are struggling we are fighting we are you know trying to make money but it's not all about making money some people think once they have provided school uniform school fees food shelter 
that is it that is not parenting parenting doesn't only end in providing the basic um the basic things of life you need to be there with your children with your child you need to guide mold instruct correct mold them form them as they are growing up know them but if you didn't make that if you refuse to you know bond with them when they are young it might be difficult to bond with them when they are grown ups so now let's bring it to what is happening don't just leave them to go into their room and you are happy one hour two hours three hours four hours is gone and you're telling me they are doing online classes from time to time go in and check what is happening you need to be there to support them emotionally psychologically and otherwise most importantly you need to make sure your child is your friend your child can confide in you do not allow outsiders to be your friend's companion be there as a father be there as a mother be there as a carer you have the responsibility of molding that child to what he or she is supposed to be they are using computers in excess these days because of the online school that is okay but you need to monitor what is happening you need to let them know the risk associated with some things they see and watch online so you need to keep those conversations going telling them the increasing risks of you know going into some sites and watching things that are not meant for them sometimes things pop on on laptops it's not as if they put it on themselves but sometimes those things come on and it catches their eyes and if care is not taken they go on to click and from there you see your child watching pornography watching things that you as an adult have not even thought of or have not even watched before so this time around you need to be careful these children are given unto us by God and so we need to nurture them we need to train them we need to bring them up the way that God demands the Bible says train up a child in a way that he will grow so that when he is old he will not do what depart from that way a lot of them are committing suicide a lot of them are joining bad friends online a lot of them are into gaming into things that are terrible so please keep your eyes open go out and do your work go out and look for money to look after them at the same time be there for your children don't just give them the necessary things you think they need and you abandon them it is not all about money it is not all about having the most expensive things house money eating the best food there is more to that you need to have relationship with your children make them your friends so that they can confide in you so that when they are passing through things they can easily come to you as a dad they can come to you as a mom they can come to you as a senior person what i'm saying whomsoever that is placed under your care you really need to be there for the person so that you will know what is going on in the life of those children so don't allow them to stray away don't allow them to make friends with people that will confuse them in life with people that will tell them lies with people that wouldn't want them to be somebody in future so parents wake up wake up to your duties wake up to your responsibilities as you were in search of money as you were in search of greener pasture as you were in search of so many things to better your life remember you have people that are placed under your care and even if you don't have people that are under your care you also need to prepare in case in future some people are brought under your care some people are given to you by god to look after and even if they are not yours you can stand in a gap you can be a helper you can be a guardian so let's you know work together let's nurture these children let's train them so that we can have you know people that will represent us in future so that we can have people that we can be proud to call our own some parents are regretting right now because of the attitudes of their children 
they are not proud to call them their children yes i wouldn't blame them probably they didn't do but things are happening so we need to open our eyes we need to ask god to open our eyes of understanding and teach us and help us to guide and train our children so that they should so that they will grow up and become what we want them to be thank you so much for listening if you haven't subscribed to my channel please click on the subscribe button turn on the post notifications so that when i upload new videos you will be notified comment and like and share until i see you next time bye